Hey guys, Chris Matakis here, and I wanted to touch base with all those thinking about returning to jiu-jitsu, the apprehensions you may have, and three simple things you can do to get the most out of your time in training. So I appreciate your time. I'll be brief. Let's get after it. So when someone has taken time off from jiu-jitsu and they come back, the primary concerns are generally, I'm going to be rusty, I'm going to be out of shape, I'm going to make a fool of myself, and this is not going to go well. And that anxiety creates a tension that prevents us from getting back on the mat. So I want to address that today. So I think there's three things we can do. So the first is understanding the limitations of an untrained body and how it ultimately may serve you in jujitsu. So we know that it takes a long time to get in really good shape. Your cardio builds steadily over time. And the moment you stop training, the cardio falls away. And I think that's ultimately a blessing for those returning to jiu-jitsu because to the degree that you have uh, excessive physicality and attributes, you may rely on that to a detriment of the development of technique because there will be instances where you won't have to develop the technique because you've got the physicality behind it. So when you come back from time off the mat, it actually can serve your technical development incredibly well. You're going to have to rely on technique. And that's very useful because ultimately, the wider the foundation of technical development you have, the higher the potential peak. So I am encouraged when someone cannot use their physicality or it's currently dormant from inactivity because it just means you're going to get better at jiu-jitsu faster. Now, that being said, right, managing expectations of your technical development. There will be rust, but it's like riding a bike. It will all come back. And at least I've found in my experience that when you have that opportunity to come back, it's almost like a rebirth, and you'll find that you're given an opportunity to let go of the techniques and movements and patterns which don't ultimately serve your highest goal of mastering jiu-jitsu, and you can skillfully attend to that which matters most. So it's almost like a separating the wheat from the chaff, and you can do that if you're purposeful in skill acquisition, maybe more purposeful than you were when you trained previously, and you can get better a lot faster as a result especially because you may not have the physicality you did when you stopped training, so you're gonna have extra emphasis on the technique through this increased attention, and you'll actually progress a lot faster. And then the final part is, I really view this as an opportunity for rebirth. I mean, we are all, life is difficult for a lot of us, right? And there's so many ways we can misuse our time, and there's really only a few really great ways to use our time in a way that ultimately serves who we want to become, and who we feel like we're destined to be. So this second time around, third time around, whatever it is coming back to jiu-jitsu, maybe this is the one that sticks. This is the opportunity to be reborn, to let go of the habits that don't serve you. And we know that there's a compound effect with this, right? When you build a new good habit, then another one follows. You start training again, you're probably going to start eating better. You're probably going to start uh, honoring your sleep a little bit more. You'll probably get better with time management. And there's this beautiful cascade where our lives improve in almost every facet just because we're trying to get better at jiu-jitsu. And that's a beautiful thing because think of who you are now and imagine what your life will be like in the capacity you will have a year from now, six months from now, after dedicated training. You'll be in better shape. You'll have more meaningful relationships. You'll have more confidence. Your mental health will be better. We all have this inherent need to play and let off steam. And for adults, jiu-jitsu is probably the best vehicle to do that. So while there is intimidation in getting back on the mat, you kind of have a decision to make. Am I going to yield to the discomfort and be who I am today? Or am I going to lean into the discomfort, experience this new death and rebirth, reacquire those skills, the conditioning, and all of the benefits that come from training and be the next version of me. And the only difference is getting back on the mat. And when you get back on the mat, you know, you choose the right training partners, you have the reasonable expectations for what your body can do, and you just keep showing up. And that consistency, that progressive overload of jujitsu will yield incredible results. So I implore you, if you're thinking about getting back on the mat, you know your life will be better. There's a reason why you're thinking about it. Take the plunge and view it as your own hero's journey of going back into jujitsu to pull out some benefits that you have yet to find, but you know that you can. So I wish you well. Your call to action is to get back on the mat, reach out to your academy, and uh, train hard because your life and the lives of those you serve will be better as a result.
So I wish you well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.